Hello everyone. Welcome to the Little Riders. It's story time. And today's story is about a bear. A brown color bear. The story name is Klaus Douglas. So what is the name of the brown bear? The name of the brown bear is Douglas. And the story name is Huglas Douglas and it's written by David Melling. So are you all ready? Let's start a story. One spring morning, one spring morning, there came a big yawn from the back of a deep dark cave. A big yawn. How do we yawn when we wake up in the morning? <sighs> so there came a big yawn. <sighs> from the back of that dark deep cave now whose yawn was that it was the brown color bear whose name was Douglas I need a hug said Douglas Douglas said I need a hug so Douglas wriggled out of his pajamas, wriggled out of his pajamas, combed his hair, he brushed his hair and put on his, his scarf and went out to look for one. So kids, what did the Douglas do next? Douglas thought that my best hugs are the big one he went out and find the biggest thing wrapped it him around squeezed him tightly to give him a hug so what was the thing which douglas hugged it was snowball douglas hugged the snowball because he thought that the big 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 things are the best hug but what happened I don't feel right. Oh, it's quite heavy. Fall down the Douglas on the ground. Ouch! It hurted me. Now, what did the Douglas do next? Douglas thought, my best hug are the tall ones. My best hugs are the tall ones. So the Douglas went out in the search of the tallest, the tallest thing he could find. And what did he find? He found a tree. So Douglas hugged a tree. He hugged the bottom, he hugged the middle, and he reached on the top to hug the tree. But it got all splinter and it pinched Douglas. Ouch! This is not right. I don't feel okay. Oh, what did the Douglas thought? Douglas thought my best hugs are the comfy one. So he trotted towards a cozy looking bush. And as he grabbed it, ouch, it feels something odd. What is the odd thing inside the bushes? The cozy looking bush the bunch of a leaf, they quivered and trembled and they ran away. The leaves, the bunch of leaves, the cozy looking bushes were running away. <gasps> what is this happening? Douglas was even running behind him. Douglas said, wait, give me a hug. But what was that? Those were sheep. The sheep were hiding inside the bunch of leaves, the cozy looking bushes. They ran away as Douglas hugged them. No, but the sheep, we are too busy. You go away from here. But Douglas scooped a handful of sheep and hugged them. They squirted and ran away from Douglas. They did not like the hug at all. So who, who will the Douglas hug now? Hmm? Let us see. Poor Douglas. Why can't I find a hug? Said Douglas. Hmm. Now, who comes next? The eyes owl. The owl was sitting on the tree. 
the owl was sitting on the tree. He said, if I want a hug, I will sit on the tree, said the wise owl. And, and the jugglers also jumped and sat on the tree. But, 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 something again happened. And what was that? But soon the jugglers found himself down in the clumsy mud and crossed the owl. The jugglers were so heavy that as the jugglers sat in the tree, he fell down in the clumsy mud and the owl also fell down in the clumsy mud and the owl was very angry. I only wanted a hug, sniffed the poor Douglas. He found something down into the mud. So he put his hand inside the mud and what was there inside the mud? Who lives in the mud? Who builds the burrows? It's a rabbit. So as he put inside his hand inside the mud in the burrow, the house of the rabbit, he found something long-eared and rabbity. He gave it a tug. So kids, Douglas was trying to tell the rabbit, I just need a hug. So as he sniffed his nose on the fluffy end. And again, again he was doing like this. Then the rabbit was very annoyed. He said, excuse me, put me down. But Douglas said, I just need a hug. But I cannot find it anywhere. Hmm. Oh. I see, said the rabbit. Come with me. He, he held his hand and both of them were going together to find a comfy, cozy hug for Douglas. Whose hug will be this time? Can you guess? Can you guess? Let us see. They came near a dark deep cave and there came a sound. Yeah. Again, a big yawn. Douglas peeped inside the cave and he had the funniest feeling that he could knew someone inside. Hug asked Douglas and he ran away as fast as he can towards the person. So kids, can you imagine who was there inside the deep dark cave? His mama! quickly ran away and hugged his mama and he said come to know I come to know that my best hugs are from person whom I love and he smuggled into the biggest and warmest arms of his mom and gave a hug so kids do you all like story and have you ever felt like Douglas you want to hug someone? We always hug our mamas, yes? So I want you all to hug your mamas, everyone, right now. Yes, give them a tight hug and say, Mama, I love you. Bye bye. We'll meet next time with a new story. Till then, everyone, be safe at home. Bye bye.